In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus HBr. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So to balance this equation, I'd put a 3 here to balance the bromines, and then I have 3 oxygens here. I'm going to put a 3 here, and that balances the molecular equation. If you need help, there's a link in the description on just how to balance the molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. Hydroxides in general, unless they're in group 1, they are only slightly soluble. And if they're slightly soluble, we say they're insoluble for net ionic equations, and we write S because that means they're a solid. They don't dissolve. Hydrobromic acid, that is a strong acid. We could look at this table here and see HBr, hydrobromic acid. That's a strong acid, so it's going to break apart, dissociate completely into its ions. So because of that, we're just going to write AQ after that. Aqueous, it's going to be a strong electrolyte. AlBr3, you could look that up on a table for solubility or have memorized that in general, the bromide ion, when you have bromine, that is going to be soluble. So that's going to be aqueous, dissolve water. That is a liquid. So we have our states. That's a pretty crucial step. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll be the complete ionic equation. We can't split aluminum hydroxide apart since it's a solid. We don't split solids, or liquids, or gases apart in net ionic equations. So just AlOH3. I'll write the states at the end. But HBr, we said that was a strong base. It's going to break apart. Hydrogen has a 1 plus ionic charge. Bromide ion, that's negative. Three hydrogen ions. And then three bromide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we know that aluminum has a 3 plus ionic charge, and then we said bromine and bromide ion, 1 minus. So we write Al 3 plus, plus we have 3 of these bromide ions, just like in the reactants, plus 3 water molecules. So this is our complete or total ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. I see that we have three bromide ions here in the reactants and three in the products. So we can cross those out, but everything else is unique. And that's the net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus HBr. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus HBr, aluminum hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 3 times 1 plus, so we have 3 plus on this side. And over here, we have a total of 3 plus. And if you count the atoms up on each side, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.